What's up YouTube? It's GC Off-Road and today I'll be modifying my shifting bezel to take toggle switches for my fog lights. So here I've got the uh, bezel cover for the shifter and uh, all I'm going to be doing is cutting out a couple of uh, square holes to mount these toggle switches down into. I'll be taking these plastic mounts that come with my switches and I'll use the inside hole on these to mark out the location and the size that I need to cut out of the shift bezel to mount these illuminated switches. And we'll sit these beside so I get a rough idea of the position of them. And I think those will probably look pretty good once I get the holes cut. So, as y'all can see right here, I just scored out the top and bottom squares here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to find my Dremel and we'll come in here with a diamond cutoff wheel and score these out and then clean them up with a polishing stone and a file. Okay, so I, uh, I actually can't find my Dremel tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the drill press and drill the corner holes of the uh, bezel and then I'm going to follow up and trim it out with this uh, oscillating tool. So you can see I've got the uh, rough cuts done right there. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, take a file and some sandpaper and work it down until we got a perfectly square hole. Okay, so I've got it pretty close to the file. Next, I'm just going to go through with some 80 grit sandpaper and take it the rest of the way down to the final size. I'm going to take my pocket knife, go around the back, and remove any uh, flashing or plastic that's stuck to the back side where I filed it. And now I'll just go through one more time with sandpaper and put a slight bevel on the back side so that the clips right here engage with the plastic a little bit better. There's a little bit of flash on the top, so we'll just lightly hit it with some sandpaper to knock it off. So, and now we're ready to install our switches. Yeah, that one popped in good. Now we'll try the front one. And it popped in. Now push on from the back side. It has essentially no wobble in it so i think that'll be pretty good the clips here fully engage on the bevels that we just filed into it a minute ago and gives it a solid lockup so now we're ready to pre-wire the switches to get ready to go back in the jeep 